Exam season is coming up fast, and that means you need a good revision timetable. But how do you make one that's actually effective? Well, that's what I'll be showing you in this video. Step one is to find all the individual parts of your spec, all the things that will be on your exam. So, step one is to identify all of the topics that will be on your exam and then divide this further into all the individual subtopics. So for example, in preparation for my mocks, I'm going through the, the physics one. So the topic will be P1, which is energy, and then these will be all of the individual topics that will be on the test. Try and go as small as you can, even break down the individual subtopics into smallest topics that are in them. You can normally find this online, for example here is the AQ GCSE biology one. If you can't find it online then try and ask your teacher or otherwise use a textbook. Textbooks are a really useful way of doing this because inside the textbook are all of the topics. Then donate a difficulty level to each topic. Green, orange, or red. Then denote a difficulty level to each topic, green, orange or red. Make sure to spend not too long on this as this is just a way of quickly checking rather than revising. An easy way to do this is to use old tests that you've done, just quickly go through and see how you've done in the test in all of these topics. Now, once you've done this, you give every colour rating a different amount of points, depending on how much time you have. The basic level, I would say, if you're really stretched on time, especially if you're watching this video coming up to your A-levels or GCSEs or any other big exams, is that green is worth nothing, orange is worth one point, and red is worth two points. Now, if you have more time, then it's definitely helpful to make green worth at least one point because you should still be reviewing your old contents, but I understand that time can get really stretched. You then need to basically map out your week. Make this incredibly realistic and give yourself some grace. So for example, I give myself 10 minutes to get ready for badminton when I could probably make it five, but when it becomes that you're already stretching yourself for time and saying, well, in the other five minutes, then I'll start reviewing a um, green topic then that's where you get behind on your revision timetable. So once you've created your plan of your week, you should see the slots where you have time. Make sure you take into account when you have motivation as well, because for example, after I have badminton on Monday, I know that I'm less motivated. So I won't put a red topic there. I'll put a green or an orange topic there. So. Once you've delegated your time over the entire week and tallied up the time taken for homework and extracurriculars, responsibilities that you have at home and any exercise because it's important to try and add that into your revision timetable I would say, then you should see the times when you have some space to do some revision. So I know that for example on Thursday of week A, I have a bit of time at eight, between eight and nine to do some revision. Now, instead of saying biology, which I have done here, but this is because this is my old revision timetable. Then you, instead of doing that, you put in a color. You need to work out how many colors you should be doing a week. Over time, you'll build an understanding of how long each color takes. So red will probably take longer than orange and orange will probably take longer than green but different topics will take different amounts of time. So I'd say normally probably schedule in one for an hour and then if you finish that then you can do another. Of course you might not need to move down the difficulty level and you may realise it's actually green so you know adapt this. Right, in summary how this revision timetable method works is Find all the individual subtopics using your spec. Rate each of them for difficulty. Then find the time in your week where you're most motivated to do each type of revision, red, green or orange. 
then spend the time doing a red, green or orange topic from each of the subjects that you need to do. Then you will find that you are covering the amount of content that you need to if you've done the maths and worked out how many red, orange and green topics you have. This is so much simpler, even if it doesn't seem it. So comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more content like this. Good luck with all of your revision.